accept the position to leave this department, I knew this day would come. Ultimately, I feel the decision to step down is in the best interest of the department, and I know this is God's will for my life. Shreveport's police chief is being demoted. The announcement made today about a decision which has been months in the works. Good evening. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Jovic. And I'm Jackie Jovic. It's a story we brought you first today on our website, arquitectshomepage.com, and it is our top story tonight. Assistant Chief Wayne Smith will take over for Ben Ray, Chief Ben Raymond, who will return to the rank of sergeant. It's the position he's held prior to being promoted to chief in 2018. Mayor Adrian Perkins revealed today he asked Raymond to resign as chief on June 2nd. Raymond formally accepted his demotion on August the 9th. Smith will begin his new role on September 1st. I broke the story of Raymond stepping down as chief, and this is why it unfolded today. The police department needs change. This is not a decision that I've come upon lightly. But it is a decision that had been brewing since June. Shreveport City Council today called an emergency meeting. They were set to hold a no confidence vote regarding Chief Raymond on Friday. Two hours after the announcement was made, the emergency meeting was canceled. Recently, legislation was introduced calling for a vote of no confidence in my leadership. To blame me as Chief of Police for the violent offenders roaming our streets is ludicrous. We do not blame the fire chief for businesses or houses which burn to the ground. Yet the response from some of our elected representatives is to blame those who are working tirelessly to solve and prevent violent crime in our city. Councilman John Nicholson was the only council member to speak today. He says he was made aware of the mayor's request for Raymond's resignation over the last few weeks, adding Raymond did all he could under the circumstances he was presented. I am confident as a member of the city council that Chief Raymond did all he could with the resources he had. Raymond says he hopes Smith receives what he feels he did not. I can only hope the next chief of police, Assistant Chief Smith, will get the cooperation and support he or she deserves. I will foster an atmosphere of good communication that seeks your invaluable wisdom and insight. I truly believe that all of us working together in concert with our neighborhoods can address our community needs. Smith will now lead a department that is short 100 plus officers and which pays the least starting salary of any major municipality within a five hour drive. 